Hi, this is Harish from Informatica GCS team. In this presentation, I will be speaking about how to check if a command script runs fine under Windows System User before using in Informatica. The agenda of the presentation goes as differences between running a Windows command or batch script inside and outside of Informatica and when this test helps which will be followed by a detailed step along with demo that needs to be followed to do the test. So what is the difference when we are running a command script inside and outside of Informatica? First, when a command script runs inside Informatica service, by default it runs with system user. So like any other services that runs on Windows, Informatica service also run in this local system account by default and it has a non-interactive session with the desktop and user will not have any control over pop-up messages. Now compared to that when a command script is run outside of Informatica it runs under the user who has logged in. It has an interactive session with the desktop and user will have the control over the message pop-ups. If the commands which are used in the batch script is from third-party software the registry entries for normal users may not be available for system user. So when this test helps? So we have seen common problems which are reported with Informatica command task on Windows are uh, for example the batch script runs fine outside of Informatica using a command prompt but it fails when it is run from Informatica or the command task runs fine when the Informatica is started from the command prompt but fails when Informatica runs a service. So with this test we can figure out various such issues before even using Informatica command task. And with this test if the problem is seen without Informatica then debugging can be focused towards the actual issue. So now let's uh, check the steps that needs to be followed. So first thing we have to do is get a system command prompt. How do we do that? We have to follow the following steps. Run cmd as an administrator. To do that we have to right click on cmd.exe and run as an administrator. So to do that we have to go to here and command prompt right click run as administrator. Here we go. So from this command prompt launch another command prompt with system user. So we are interested in getting a command prompt under system user. So the next step will show us how do we do that. And in this step we would be using and the command called psxec which is part of Microsoft sysinternal suite and can be downloaded from Microsoft website. And with this command psxec we will be executing the cmd.txe which we can bring up as a system user. So I have my psxec here minus i minus s cmd.txe So here is one more pop-up for the cmd.txe and this is under the system user. So let's uh, run it again psxec hyphen hi hyphen s cmd.txe and this pop-up is again for the cmd.txe which runs under the system user. So next thing we have to do is to confirm if the new command.txe or the new command prompt is really running under system user. So to do that we have to go to task manager and check if cmd.txe we have under system. So there were two system, uh, two cmd.txe in the system. So I just kill it. So let's do it again, so that we can find out uh, really the new command prompt is from. Yeah, here we go. So this is the new system uh, cmd.txe from system. So any command now on when we run, or any command or bash script now on we run from this command prompt from the second command prompt 
which runs as a system user will be run under system user for example I have created notepad if you'll notice it's under system user and as soon as I close it will be gone So these are the steps that you can follow to create the command prompt of system user to test the command in bash script in or outside of Informatica. So one real life example where this test helped us. So the problem is reported as a script with WinSCP command uh, fails to run inside Informatica but it runs fine outside of in Informatica. And the error which uh, it used to fail was as following network error so what we did was we tried the steps that we have uh, described just now in the demo and from that command prompt we tested the script outside of Informatica and voila the problem was still there so we could easily rule out the Informatica from picture and could narrow down to the actual issue and later we found out that it was the problem with WinSCP as the user system user was not having uh, access for the registry entry of the user under which WinSCP was installed. So similar issues can be easily identified uh, when we use these test lines or uh, test guidelines to test the command scripts outside of Informatica. So I, ho I hope this presentation was useful to you and definitely we would like to uh, hear from you and these are the channels so which you can provide your feedbacks. Thank you.